Hello guys and girls and in today's video we are gonna we're gonna do high speed review on a on the commander that everybody loves and that is Robert resource research training and building bonuses and combat bonuses so for the Robert I have decided to these to uh, put together these two categories because I feel he is uh, useless in both ones, except if you're building the hyper farm. So let's start with the uh, building or the or the resource bonuses. Uh, Iron production increased to 100% on the gold quality. So with three stars, he'll give you one uh, 160% uh, iron production. And like I said, for your hyper farm, that's uh, that's really useful. Uh, other two battle bonuses are fortification durability increased by 50% and the boom and defense increased by 30%. The both of these bonuses are laughable and I would just, if you're going to do a Robert for the, for the war and PvP purposes, you're making a meme, so that's a really nice view. Siege of Winterfell skill and bonuses. In this area, Robert excels. Oh no, sorry, wait, <laughs> sorry, wrong commander. So basically, he's uh, he's not uh, good at all. Of course, at uh, this area, would ha who uh, expect that? So you don't want to use him. There are many more bow commanders that are more useful, and even total attack or defense commanders that have better skill and even better bonuses. So yeah, please don't use him here. Thank you. Awakening skill and bonuses. In this area, uh, Robert on three stars or four stars will give you 18% iron production, 18% fortification durability increased, 12% increased uh, city iron capacity, and uh, six or eight, eight percent. I'm not sure on iron gathering speed. So, like I said, it's super good on your high performs. And what, what you really want from this commander that is super good for your hyper farms is he, it is his four star four star skill and uh, enemy spear man defense reduction 10% of course you don't need that on your hyper farms but you need the uh, iron production 200% and iron capacity 500% this is huge for your hyper farms and this is the really purpose of this commander to boost your Iron capacity is so high, so you can produce more and you uh, you can uh, uh, keep more iron to transfer between your hyper farms. So this is the must-have commander for our iron hyper farms. Weirwood, Elite Trials, and Rebel Leader's Capability. In this area, Robert, as you probably know, doesn't excel really well. He's not that useful. He has some attack and some defense, but compared to other bow commanders, he's not that good. And as you can see, he really struggle, struggles to beat opponents even at lower levels of Weirwood Tree. Friendship or Tavern Bonuses. As you can see, for me, Robert is completely useless in Tavern, and it gives uh, three aptitude and two finest. Of course, that's four aptitude and three finest when you awaken him to two stars. Basically, I would recommend doing him on your farms, on your mains. There's no point investing in him.